Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20. If you're having a BMW 3 Series generation, guys, F30, F31. If you have one of those, you're trying to find, guys, where the fuse for the AC compressor is located. You may have up to three different fuses. Stay with us. We'll explain where they're located, where you can buy cheap fuses, relays, parts. That way, do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that, guys, will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We'll share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the AC compressor fuses guys, where they're located, uh, we need to check up to three different fuses in two different fuse boxes now. So the first fuse box that we need is right under the hood. If you open the hood on your BMW right here, okay, we have one cover, remove that cover and you'll see a fuse box guys. And the fuse box, the layout will look just like this one here. But uh, before we guys actually continue, let's quickly explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse, right? But uh, it could be guys a bad fuse. Sometimes it's really hard to tell, it's hard to see. You have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys, it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad, you may end up spending time, money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need. So always test fuses, it takes only uh, a few seconds. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how how to test relays as well. Relays are easy to test, uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys. So check out the links will be in the description of the video below. Here now guys let's explain which fuse we need to check. That, that will be the row of fuses towards the windshield side. Even if you have a missing fuse you're going to count that spot and we're going to start with fuse number 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, fuse number 33, that 10M fuse, very important fuse right here. Then you will have one more fuse that you need to check here specifically when we're talking about uh, fuse number 56, that 5M fuse right here, that's fuse number 56. Then if you go on the inside of your BMW, on the passenger side right here, if you remove the trim cover in that kick panel, you're going to see another fuse box and the layout looks just like this one here. Here we need to check one more fuse here for the AC compressor. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten some of you may have or you may not have this one depending on the options it could be right here guys yeah if you have it it will be right there hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time